Hello and welcome to the episode 159 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we have the Beatles' arrival in Hong Kong, two recording sessions, and a wedding, and more. Let's start with the usual performance at the Top 10 Club on the 8th of June 1961. The Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, were still engaged in their second lengthy residency in Hamburg, West Germany. Another live date in 1963, the Beatles and the rest of the Roy Orbison package tour arrived at the City Hall in Newcastle upon Tyne. This was the lads' second concert in that venue. On this date in 1964, the Beatles finally landed in Hong Kong, with more than a thousand fans greeting them. After a quick procedure at the immigration desk, the band was taken to the President Hotel in Kulin, where they occupied a suite on the 15th floor. Paul McCartney and Roddy Neil Aspinall ordered a ready-the-next-day bespoke suit each, something many tourists did when arriving in town. Paul also tried to visit the city, but he was recognized and forced to run back to the hotel. In the evening, the Beatles turned down an invitation to attend the Miss Hong Kong pageant that was taking place in the hotel's convention hall. When the girls started to cry in disappointment, John Lennon, always sensitive to… Um, female tears, decided to go down and greet them. In 1965, sound engineer Norman Smith produced a new stereo mix of I Want to Hold Your Hand. The track was to be included in compilations released in the Netherlands and in Australia by EMI affiliates. Smith completed the task in just half an hour, working between 10 and 10.30 am at the EMI studios in Abbey Road, London. But it will take you even less than half an hour to support this podcast and the production of further music-related content with a like, a comment, or sharing this episode on your social media. You won't believe how happy these things make me. And if you want to do more, head down to www.simonmas.com support at the end of the episode. As usual, the link is in the episode description. We get more studio time for the next two entries in this episode. On the 8th of June 1966, the Beatles were in Abbey Road to record Good Day Sunshine. Between 2.30 pm and 2.30 am, the band rehearsed the song and then recorded the rhythm track in one take, with Paul McCartney on piano and Ringo Starr on drums. Then, the Fabs proceeded to overdub Paul's lead vocals and John Lennon's and George Harrison's harmonies. The final touch was McCartney's bass, placed, as now usual, on a track by itself. The session was then concluded, adding the new song to two mono mixes of And Your Bird Can Sing, which Jeff Emmerich had completed between 1 and 2 pm, before the start of the recording session. In 1967, there was more work on You Know My Name, Look Up the Number at Abbey Road. Starting at 7 pm, the Beatles recorded various takes of four parts of the song, playing piano, drums, guitars, bass, and vibraphone. The various parts were to be edited together at a later date. There was also a very special guest, Brian Jones of the Rolling Stones, invited by Paul McCartney. The Beatles had expected Jones to play guitar, but he turned up with an alto saxophone, and that's what he played on two of the four parts. The session was wrapped up at 1 am. Let's conclude the episode with a chilled-out day in 1968. Having arrived in California the previous day, George and Ringo paid a visit to Joan Baez at her house in Carmel. Meanwhile, Paul McCartney was the best man at his brother Mike's wedding in Carrick, Wales. The reception was held at another of the McCartney brothers' home, Jim, in Gaynor, Cheshire. Allegedly, 
Paul led a sing-along at the house piano with all the guests. And with this, we can conclude today's episode of What A Fab Day. Tomorrow, we'll cover the very first official engagement of the Quarrymen in 1957. Tune in for more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.